Welcome to an exciting journey through time as we explore the seven wonders of the ancient world. These architectural marvels were built by ancient civilizations that flourished thousands of years ago, and they continue to captivate and inspire us today. These structures epitomize the ingenuity, engineering prowess, and artistic talent of the ancient world. They stand as a testament to the human spirit's ability to push beyond boundaries and create something truly exceptional. While many of these wonders have been destroyed or lost to time, their legacy lives on in our history, art, and literature. In this video, we will explore each of these amazing wonders, narrating their rich history, cultural significance, and the inspiration behind their creation, providing you with a detailed account of their splendor for you to enjoy. Let's embark on an unforgettable adventure as we take a step back in time and discover the incredible creations of our ancestors. The Great Pyramid of Giza The Great Pyramid, located at Giza on the west bank of the Nile River north of Cairo in Egypt, is the only wonder of the ancient world that has survived to the present day. It is believed to have taken 20 years and as many as 100,000 workers to complete the Great Pyramid, which was built as a tomb for the 4th dynasty Egyptian pharaoh named Khufu. It's the largest pyramid of Egypt's three pyramids that are located in Giza, Cairo. According to History.com, the Great Pyramid covers 13 acres and is believed to contain more than 2 million stone blocks that weigh from 2 to 30 tons each. The outermost stones of the pyramid were highly polished white limestone, which were eventually loosened by an earthquake more than 600 years ago, and were removed to help build cities and mosques. When these casing stones were present, some believe that the pyramid was so large and bright that it could be seen from the moon. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon this is believed to have been built near the Euphrates River in modern-day Iraq by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II around 600 BC. These gardens were described as a remarkable feat of engineering with an ascending variety of trees, shrubs, and vines, resembling a large green mountain constructed of mud bricks. The gardens were said to have been planted as high as 75 feet in the air on a huge square brick terrace that was laid out in steps like a theater. The gardens were built to please King Nebuchadnezzar's wife, who was homesick for the greenery of her homeland. To this day, no archaeological evidence has been found at Babylon for the Hanging Gardens. It is possible that evidence may exist beneath the Euphrates, which cannot be excavated safely at present. The river flowed east of its current position during the time of Nebuchadnezzar II, and little is known about the western portion of Babylon. Scientists have deduced that for those gardens to survive, they would have had to be irrigated using a system consisting of a pump, water wheel and cisterns to carry water from the Euphrates many feet into the air. Though there are multiple accounts of the gardens in both Greek and Roman literature, none of them were first-hand, and no mention of the gardens has been found in Babylonian cuneiform inscriptions. As a result, many scholars believe that the existence of the gardens was part of an inspired fictional tale. The Statue of Zeus at Olympia This was a huge statue, probably a 41-feet giant seated figure, made by the Greek sculptor Phidias around 435 BC at the Sanctuary of Olympia, Greece, and erected in the Temple of Zeus. According to ancient Greek mythology, Zeus is the sky and thunder god, who rules as king of the gods of Mount Olympus. The statue was made entirely of ivory and gold and was considered to be one of the most magnificent statues of the ancient world. The Zeus statue graced the temple at Olympia for more than 800 years before Christian priests persuaded the Roman emperor to close the temple in the 4th century AD. Many believe that the statue was later moved to a temple in Constantinople, modern-day Istanbul, where it ultimately got destroyed in a fire in the year 475 AD. However, there have been several arguments about the actual date of its destruction. 
The Temple of Artemis. It was also known as the Temple of Diana, a Greek temple dedicated to an ancient, local form of the goddess Artemis. The Temple of Artemis was located near the ancient city of Ephesus, about 75 kilometers south from the modern port city of Izmir, in Turkey. It was built and rebuilt over the course of many years. The most famous was built in about 550 BC and was funded by King Croesus of Lydia. The original Temple of Artemis was designed by the Cretan architect Chersophron and his son Metagenes and decorated by some of the most celebrated artists of the ancient world. Unlike many other temples of its time, it was built of marble and glittered with gold. The temple's foundation was over 180 by 350 feet and its steps led to a high platform on which it stood more than 100 beautifully sculptured columns that supported its roof. The temple housed many incredible works of art, but the most famous was the statue of Artemis itself. Although the original no longer exists, it was thought to have been made of gold and other beautiful materials. Her legs were covered with animals and bees and the top of the body covered with breasts symbolizing fertility. The Mausoleum at Halicarnassus The Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, also known as the Mausoleum of Mausolus, was an ancient tomb located in the city of Halicarnassus in present-day Turkey. It was a tomb built by Artemisia for her husband, Mausolus, the king of Carnea in Asia Minor after his death in 353 BC. Artemisia was Mausolus' sister. According to legend, she was so grief-stricken at his passing that she mixed his ashes with water and drank them in addition to ordering the mausoleum's construction. The structure was designed by the Greek architects Satyros and Pythias of Preen. This structure was considered one of the world's seven wonders, and it served as a model for many future mausoleums. It stood at a height of around 45 meters, and it was constructed entirely of white marble. The building was adorned with intricate sculptures, friezes, and reliefs. The most famous of these were the four massive horse statues that stood at the corners of the roof. The tomb was accessed by a grand staircase, which led to a spacious courtyard. The inner chamber of the mausoleum contained a sarcophagus, which was believed to hold the remains of Mausolus and Artemisia too. The mausoleum was damaged by earthquakes over the centuries, and eventually, it was completely destroyed in the 15th century. Today, only a few of the original marble blocks and sculptures from the tomb have been preserved. Despite this, many replicas and recreations of the mausoleum have been made over the centuries. Artists and architects throughout history have drawn inspiration from this iconic structure, and it remains a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of ancient Greek architects and sculptors. The Colossus of Rhodes The Colossus of Rhodes was a statue of the Greek sun god, Helios. It stood at the entrance of the harbor of Rhodes, a small island located in the southeastern Aegean Sea. It was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world and was considered a masterpiece of Greek sculpture. The statue was constructed between 292 and 280 BC by the sculptor chairs of Lindos, using bronze melted down from the weapons of the defeated army of Demetrius Ipoliorcetes, who had unsuccessfully besieged Rhodes. It took twelve years to complete the statue. According to History.com, the Colossus of Rhodes stood at 100 feet tall, making it one of the largest statues of the ancient world. It was designed to depict Helios, the Greek god of the sun, in a standing pose, with his legs slightly apart and his arms outstretched. The statue was mounted on a massive pedestal that was made of white marble and stood in the harbor entrance. Ships would pass by the statue, which was illuminated at night, acting as a guide to sailors arriving at the port. The statue was destroyed in an earthquake in 226 BC, just 54 years after its construction. It is said that the statue toppled over and lay in pieces on the ground. 
Legend has it that Ptolemy III, the king of Egypt at the time, offered to fund the repair of the statue, but the citizens of Rhodes declined, believing that it was a sign of the gods' disapproval of such a grand display of personal wealth and vanity. Today, there are no remnants of the Colossus of Rhodes. Some historians argue that the statue could not have been as large as people believe, as it would have been structurally unsound. It is said that the statue's legs would have been too weak to support its weight, and it would have been a technical feat to create bronze plates that could be welded together to form a seamless outer layer. Nonetheless, the Colossus of Rhodes remains one of the most famous and enigmatic works of human art, inspiring countless artists and writers throughout history. The Lighthouse of Alexandria The Lighthouse of Alexandria was a towering structure located on the eastern edge of the island of Pharos in the ancient city of Alexandria, Egypt. It was constructed between 280 and 247 BC during the reign of Ptolemy II. It took 12 years to complete at a total cost of 800 talents of silver. It was constructed out of beautiful white marble, the building was an architectural marvel of ancient times. It consists of three sections, the lower section was a square-shaped building, which rested on a massive pedestal. Its interior was accessible via a spiral staircase, and it housed a large furnace that transmitted the flames to the upper part of the tower. The middle section, which was octagonal in shape, housed the mechanism for the mirror that reflected the flames. While the top section was cylindrical which held the beacons that showcased the light. The light beacon in the upper section stood at a height of 16 to 20 meters, and its light was said to be seen from up to 50 kilometers away. The lighthouse was equipped with a mirror that reflected the light. During the day, the mirror was used to reflect the sun's light outward, while at night, the light was lit by roaring fires. These fires were made from wood that was taken from a nearby forest, and it is noted that over 1,000 workers created the wood required to keep the light burning. At its peak, the wood lasted about two to three hours before being replaced. This lighthouse was a crucial navigation aid for sailors, and it was said that sailors could navigate the Mediterranean Sea safely just by following the light of this magnificent lighthouse. It was also a testament to the engineering and architectural prowess of the ancient world's greatest minds and, as such, attracted visitors from far and wide. Sadly, the lighthouse of Alexandria was damaged by an earthquake in the year 956 AD and finally succumbed to another earthquake in 1303 AD, leaving only ruins that stand to this day. Despite its destruction, the lighthouse remains a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition, inspiring people from all walks of life to aim ever higher in their own pursuits. The Seven Wonders of the Ancient World are a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the human spirit. These remarkable monuments stand as symbols of human achievement and continue to inspire us. While many of them have been lost to history, their influence can still be felt in the modern world, as they have been a source of inspiration for countless works of art and literature. Their enduring legacy can be seen in the way we continue to build and innovate, striving to push the boundaries of what is possible. Whether it is the Great Pyramids of Giza, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, or the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, the seven wonders of the ancient world remain an enduring reminder of our shared human heritage and the remarkable things we can achieve when we set our minds to it.